Greetings, everyone. I am Pastor Jen Collins, and we are here, uh, and we're so grateful that you get the opportunity to meet Carol Mager, as well as Amber Groczynski, as they are entering into a new role as your parish nurses, and with their gifts and passion for health and wellness, and uh, what that looks like. So we're going to take a moment to get to know Carol and Amber um, through this video that we prepared for you as we lean in and live into what it means to be a hybrid congregation of meeting each other where we're at. Um, so I'm going to invite Carol to go first. And Carol, would you just share with us a little bit about who you are? What made you say yes to this role? And what is your hope for this ministry? at Grace? Well, I'm Carol Mager. And from the time I was a small child, I wanted to help people. I wanted to be a nurse. I knew it my first day of kindergarten when I had to go to the nurse's office. And I worked 40 um, some years in the ICU and retired recently. And after I retired, I sat at home and I thought, I'm not helping anybody. <laughs> this is boring. So I had happened to mention to Amy that sometime in the future I was interested in parish nursing. So she got a hold of me and I took the classes and they were very helpful. I mean, I learned that parish nursing is melding together nursing and ministry. So I've been coming to church every Sunday and trying to learn the names of people. And sometimes I have to ask them more than once what their name is. But like I asked Amber's husband what his name was on Sunday. And then I went, oh, that's Amber's husband. So um, I'm striving to learn the names of everyone. And before Amy left her role, she got started that we were going to do a Red Cross blood drive on August 27th at Grace in the, um, let's see, what room was it in? I can't remember, but. Um, Koinonia Hall, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Too. <laughs> Koinonia, that's, that would make sense because that's a pretty big hall. So um, anybody that donates will get a ticket to Canterbury, which I have no idea if people like to go there, but it's just a benefit. Plus you'll be helping so many people because they're really short on blood. <clears throat> Another thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, October 10th, Grace will have someone from Cub come and give flu shots because it'll be the start of the flu season. And um, one of these days, hopefully COVID will be a thing of the past and we can start checking blood pressures and we won't have to wear masks. And there's a lot of ideas that I have um, about what I would like to do. One of them is a health fair, which I know Lois and Amy have done before. And it was so interesting, I loved it. Um, another thing, I'm learning who people are by helping prep for the funerals at the church. And, you know, talking to the families and assisting them with anything they need. So that's just a couple of things. I've got a lot more ideas. And Amber can tell you more about what she's got planned. Thank you, Carol. Amber, would you like to share? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So I am Amber Groszczynski. Um, I have been a nurse now for... 11 years, I think. Um, I've spent the majority of my career in pediatrics, um, women's health, reproductive health, um, and infectious disease. And so that's really where my passion lies is with children and families. And so um, my hope in being a parish nurse um, is to bring some more of that into grace. Um, I went to nursing school um, when I, that was a decision I made when I was actually debating going to seminary. 
And so um, it lines up for me um, that these two things come together. Um, it is kind of a nice um, piece of nursing care that you don't always get to bring to the bedside. Um, it's always definitely part of your nursing practice to pay attention to somebody's spirituality. Um, but in a lot of healthcare settings, it's an extremely secular place. And so um, this is always something I've wanted to do. I feel like especially in the pandemic, um, families and young people have had some really special challenges. And so that's where I hope to um, bring some things in and, and really shine. Um, we have had uh, a challenge at our house, and so we're not coming in person yet to church, um, but I'm still very available. And so um, I want to make people aware that it's okay to contact me, even if you may not see me physically for a while. I'm often doing the chat moderation online. Um, and so you won't see my name, but say hi, and I'm there. Um, and I'm also willing to chat with anybody outside of church. Um, and so, yeah, that's really where some of my passions lie. I'll also be helping with things like the blood pressures and the um, blood drive and some of the health fairs, um, hoping to bring some resources in. And then I also um, would really like to host some um, groups. I don't know really what to call them, but um, some groups for um, families with young children, families with kind of middle to older children. Um, and I'd also really like to host some groups for our young people themselves. Um, I think young people aren't given enough um, independence in their health care early on when they really could have it. And so I want to be able to be that resource. Um, historically, I was a confirmation leader for high school age folks. Um, and that was one of the best things that I did. Um, I did that for a lot of years um, and I missed that. So um, I would like to get involved still with kind of that middle to high school age group um, and make sure that, you know, I can be a resource for them too. Um, definitely in, in um, concert with their parents, but knowing also that as a healthcare provider, it's okay to ask questions. And so, um, yeah. That's kind of my hopes and dreams for where this goes. Yeah, thanks so much, both of you, for sharing. And, you know, congregation, you know, these two ladies, Carol and Amber and uh, myself, um, this, is, this is who we hope that you'll reach out to if you are looking for, at Grace, um, some support, some uh, walking alongside, some wellness uh, across both that spiritual and that um, you know, body and mind health as well. Um, this is your team right here. Uh, and, and of course it ripples out to others as we are intentional about the phone calls, right? Those are things that are still going to happen. We're all going to be able to pick up a phone and call each other, um, and continuing to make visits. Um, however that looks like, right. Um, whether it's in person or on zoom or, um, being creative with um, how we how we stay connected um, in in this ever changing landscape, and so thank you uh, both Carol and Amber for saying yes. Um, we're going to commission both of you right now, and in this new and reimagined way, right? So, congregation, as you're listening to all of us in worship mm -hmm. or online, you have a role to play too. So. Let us first uh, begin in a word of prayer. So let us pray. Um, oh God, who is ever equipping, give us new eyes to see your vision and ears to hear your plan for this community of faith. When we lead and serve with confidence in your bold grace, our labor is not in vain. Bless each of these leaders with courage and kindness, patience and tenacity, good humor and great hope, so that together we are able to do immeasurable, immeasurable things, more than we could have ever asked for or imagined on our own. And so we say amen, knowing that we ask for it to be so. And now we commission you, Carol and Amber, um, as we hear from Romans, as 
in one body, we have many members, right? Yes. And not all the members have the same function. And so we who are many are one body in Christ. Individually, we are members of one another. We're connected across the distance, whoever we are, whenever we're meeting. And we just get to lean into coming as we are. And so I ask for both you, Carol and Amber, to respond in the presence of this assembly, this community, will you accept this commission and commit yourselves to this new trust and responsibility in the confidence that it comes from God? Please respond, I will, and I ask God to help me. I will, and I ask God I to will, help me. And I ask God to help me. I ask you, will you carry out this ministry in accordance with the promises of baptism and in harmony with the mission and vision of Grace Lutheran Church to be a people and a place where grace and generosity abounds? If so, respond, I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God I to help me. I ask God to help me. And now I turn to the congregation, you all, wherever you're at, who also respond. Congregation, will you be faithful and understanding and loving as you accompany Carol and Amber, as they are called into these roles as parish nurses to care and support this community? If so, respond, we will and we ask God to help and guide us. Amen. Thank you.